Hello and welcome to Jay Teaches Our Old Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> that was your... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do that so bad. There was a lot of lead up to that before we started recording. <laughs> it was like three seconds. I was just like, I'm going to do a joke, Joe. Are we cool? And you're like, ah, go do your joke. And now I feel bad because it wasn't that funny. Joe teaches Al Dwarf Fortress. That's the, yes, I said the incorrect Earl thing. Teaches and it, job. It, to the job. Uh, to the purpose of making humorous content. I fell on my face. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to admit it. What are you doing here? Uh, we thought we'd play some Dwarf Fortress. Uh, For so those of you who did not hear the end of last week's episode, Joe is taking the driver's seat in this uh, little Let's Play thing we do. Uh, he is going to be teaching me more actively, uh, starting his own fort in the new world, because our old fort did not have the cool things from the new release. I mean, one of the cool things from the new release, so Joe is starting from Embark with a new fortress. Are we going to mention the... No, we're not. Really? Nothing went wrong. We didn't, we didn't lose any two hours of recording. That was a test run. We were just getting our feet under us. Yeah, absolutely. We're totally starting fresh now. Uh, I did want to start from the Embark screen, because as, as I've said, I've learned a couple things here. Um, so you're going to create your world when you start off. Also, for people just diving in, this game is ridiculously confusing, so I figured why not back up a few steps and hold their hand if possible. Anyway, so you the world the creation create world just and it, the it generates standard. for a while. You'll see that go. You can watch, yeah. watch the first episode of Joe Teaches All to Watch That if you'd like to. But no, we started with the fort. Oh, we did. Yeah, we were in. That's why. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, okay. Yeah, the gen the world generation. Just use the defaults. It'll be fine. Uh, and then you get. You should still go watch this. the first episode though, and all the other episodes. Yeah, they're pretty good. You oh, by the you way, we're using a uh, get out of Star that. Fox here. Which again, see the little elves. Yeah, it's very cute. I like I like the look of it. Yeah. It's sort of more cartoony than Phobos. Yes, and you tend to laugh a lot in Dwarf Fortress, so I feel like it fits. I all do. Right. Yes. <laughs> so first off. F, find desired location. Here, this always confuses me. This is the largest, this is the furthest out map. The one on the right. The smallest for some reason. This is slightly more zoomed in, but like not that much. I guess it's like this area. And then here's your really zoomed in map. So the world is huge. You know, you're going to be playing a 3x3 three three square that's in this square that's in this thing. Um, so you have lots of locations to choose from, but there's a lot of different things that you can sort for. Uh, Does it bother you that you can't leave the 3x3 three three square when you're playing regular dwarf mode? What? I said, does it bother you that you can't leave the 3x3 three three square when you're playing with regular dwarf mode? It did when I started. Uh, but then you soon realize that, you know, the action's underground for the most part, and again, in the bar, you get to choose... Having dug a little bit into adventure mode, like, you re you do realize the scale of the world. Like, you get on the fast travel screen and it still takes forever to get some places. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, it is it was it is. It, when I first started playing, I was like, well, why don't I make that like six by six so I can have like a really big world? And that was just absurd. Absolutely unneeded. Yes. Um, it's not needed for the game. It's just I just sometimes I'm like, why can't my dwarves leave and go somewhere else? I think they're working on that. OK. Uh, however, I want clay. Again, we're going to choose a fairly rich site to start with because, um, you know, this is a teaching thing. Some soil. And these are the things you can toggle. Deep metals, we want multiple, multiple. River, you definitely want, so you don't die in the beginning. Aquifers, we turned off in the Lazy Noob Pack, which I suggest for beginners, up to and beyond what I know how to do. We're actually looking at aquifers a bit, but this map has no aquifers, so this doesn't matter. Fluxstone layer, that's to make steel. Might as well ask for that. Use them a little less... a little less knowable on. Rain, obviously, is jungle to desert. Temperature is... Temperature. Elevation. Okay, actually, I do know what these are. Drainage, I guess I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so he does, but he doesn't. I gotta ask you, uh, because we did skip this part. I didn't see uh, this, the very early setup. How old is your world? How, uh, how, how I went deep into history do you usually go? Not too long, because, okay, when you're regenerating the world, that's one of the largest time-consuming parts. It sits there and it actually generates it makes the landscape, history. obviously. Yeah, not too... Literally. Too... too uh, complex, but it, then it, you know, goes through every civilization and creates events for them, and they go to war and whatnot, so you sit there watching it. You don't get to watch it, actually. You watch a number tick up uh, as it does the history. I did the defaults for everything but um, mineral frequency, because, again, it's not, wanted... it's not trivial, either, because if you're like, oh, I just want to get out there real fast, I'll make, like, a short history. Like, everything, like, there's a bunch of, like, a lot more forgotten beasts, I think, because it's sort of, like, the idea that the age is much earlier mm -hmm. and much more savage. 
Uh, yep. So that stuff kind of matters. The they world don't have a you know, mature for like people will come to trade and they're like, we have a stick. And you're like, well, can I can I get some steel? They're like, what? No, we have a stick. Um, these two, savagery and evil. Uh, savagery is like the uh, you know, if you're gonna have tigers in your landscape or squirrels. Absolutely. Evil, you know, as you get into higher and higher level evil level areas, and I'm not sure if those stem from warlock towers or if they're just a natural part of the terrain. You will have uh, body parts regenerating. Uh, you'll kill something and it'll come back to life and start crawling around like. Stuff gets nasty. Um, or fun, depending on how you... <laughs> yes. I've never dealt with that. Uh, and I usually filter these out uh, after I've done the search. So anyway, enter to do the search. And it's going to go... So this down here is a glacier. I don't know why there's not a glacier up north. I well, I mean, the, the world generation is procedural, and it's very... You know, there's all kinds of different things that can take, come into effect. We saw that one uh, map on uh, Reddit where it was all uh, goblins. all Wasteland. goblins. Yeah, <laughs> like one seven four fortress. I don't, I don't think that was pure luck. I think he had tinkered a bit with stuff, but uh, your point is taken. I, I guess I just I'd always assumed there was a North Pole and a South Pole, but you can see there's actually this looks like jungle to me up here. You think uh, that, it, like, if they take into the, the shape of the planet, like, is is it calculating sort of, like, game, where it stands uh, you know, I, <laughs> in relation to the sun? Absolutely could, yeah. It's like, it's like oh, this one got hit by an asteroid way back in the early prehistory, so it's tilted <laughs> different. Uh, search is done. These are all the squares that match our search. Now, so, actually, it's very difficult a lot of times to find your little yellow square to start with on right. the big map. Um and okay, so <laughs> you're still in the search things when you come out of this. And I'm toggling evil through right now to try and move the thing around. <laughs> Down here it says browse results, you hit escape. It's very, uh, escape is usually like clear stuff. But no, in this game it's not. So anyway, we can move Unless our yellow square. You can see it come down from the top. Um, I know sort of what I'm looking for. I definitely want some mountain-y stuff. So we're going to go check out Can we get a waterfall? Is that a, is that a thing that we can do? You can build one, yeah. Well, well, they, well it, some, they occur naturally, don't they? Yeah, I guess. I don't know how to find one. We could find a river that... I mean, I know how to find one. I don't know if I want to <laughs> do that. Actually, no, I don't know how to find one. I don't know how to tell the elevation drop on these maps exactly. Anyway, <laughs> move your square to one of the green areas. Then you go in here and you can fine-tune a little more. Uh, these, I think, are goblin cities. Towns and cities, so maybe that's not the hottest spot on the map, but we can go... Again, I'm looking in the middle one here. Bop, 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 bop. I lost your orange square. Oh, wait, I think I see it. There, I see it. Yep. Bop. This is interesting. Hmm. Now, then you can go, and I'm not going to definitely choose this spot, but you can go to this screen, and using UH... <laughs> UKHM, yep. you can move your 3x3 three three area around. So you can even fine-tune it further. Right. So moving around, moving around, moving around. That looks That's like kind area. of a boring area. I would go down there by that river if I was That's, you. Yes, I'm just demonstrating and moving. That's the 3x3 three three area you're actually going to play. So this looks like jungle and blah, 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 blah. Now, blah, blah, here's blah. one of the bigger blah, 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 things I have learned. Down here, see this? You biome. Yes, F12. If there's, if there's F1 and F2, there's oh, more than one F here, yes. it means you're, you're straddling different biomes. So you hit F1, see this area is this biome. The jungles of blotting. Warm temperature, heavily forested, thick, untamed wilds. Get a lot of winter. Ba, 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 ba. And then That's the F2 is... The Tooth of Languages. And this is the mountains. So this is mountains right next to jungles. That's actually kind of cool. And I think I'm going to choose that. Uh, now, the brook is called... Released Partners of the Muscular Craft! Because, you know, if you're discovering a brook... That's, That's what, what you're going to name it. I, absolutely. Interestingly enough, the mountain has fewer metals than the jungles. Uh, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> I don't know how to stop this from blinking, because now I want to kind of fine-tune the square again. <laughs> uh, that actually oh, I, was, I was happy with where it was. I thought yeah. we were well, going to go there. I forgot exactly where I was halfway running around. Do you want to embark? Yes, enter, embark. Ease, embark, and then it gives you this warning. Here you can actually plan your embark. I always just go standard. I'm fine with that. Enter to play now. Yeah, I did that one time, and I ended up with, like, not having somebody, but man, I had the best miner ever. I like had a <laughs> level ten miner right off the bat. I believe it. Uh, 
but you can assign you have a certain number of points to spend on dwarves and stuff you take. Is that yes. how it goes? Yes. But what happens is if you if you spend them all on one person, then the other people aren't skilled correctly. And I was not aware of all the stuff I needed to have skills in. Yes. That's part of why I always do that, because I imagine it would go very similar. Because there's just so much to do that you think you're like, well, last time I did this, I didn't have enough mining. And then you, well, yeah, you just walk through that. Here's our Strike the Earth thing. And our name is Butt Reach. Kugal Boot Reach. <laughs> boot Teach. Boot Teach! What? Wow, Google Mall that's, boot to teach. That's a thing. <laughs> Strike the earth. Shabadadu. Here and also we are. the button. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, first things first. Let's go to Dwarf Therapist. Mm -mm -mm. Connect to Dwarf Therapist. Standard start gives you this really useless fish cleaner, which you almost always turn into a miner. You uh, just turned off fish cleaning. Yes. I mean, fishing. You are correct. That's what I sir. meant to say. That I'm is sorry. fishing. This is fish cleaning. I don't know for sure if you really want fish cleaning, but fishing or uh, fishing. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying fishing could be useful. <laughs> I think I, I go way I'm somewhat be. novice to you, but that is an actual food collecting. No, no. Yes. And Albert is correct. You absolutely want a couple. You know, some people just do this in the beginning, too, because right plant, off the bat. Yeah. Plant gathering is uh, one of the easiest ways to get food. Yeah, and getting your feet under you, you're going to have some some dalliances trying to get food. Um, which is something we might have covered in a dream sequence, but I'll go over again. You can see oh, here I love how... That Delta! Go down and look at that. We're, look at that! Oh, that's yeah, gorgeous! Nice, sweet, sweet sight, yeah. I'm pretty happy. This is jungle, too. It's pretty sweet. This is Reminds way better than the other that time I got stuck in the woods with that canoe. <laughs> I'm having Everyone's flashbacks. sick of that story, Albert. Um, <laughs> I haven't told it that often. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've heard it a lot. Um, you can see here how the biome... I mean, as granular as it gets, it definitely feels like it bleeds into a new biome, but it is a very much a straight line. Uh, there are no trees here. Trees here. Um, and you'll find that underground, too, there will be no... I forget what the difference was. Shallow metals there, but shallow metals here. Um, yeah, there are more shallow metals in the forest than in the... Uh, Mountains is what we found. Yes. Jungle. This is hot. It's hot here. I'm sorry. I said forest. That was obviously wrong. And yes. you're designating some plant gathering, I see. Yes. I bet right next time you're going to set up some zones for uh, waste dumping and corpses. That is correct. We're going to do our corpse pile. Let's see. First, let's think where we're going to go. I think into here, which seems pretty good, right? Yes. Although, it's... again, you want to dig back down to the south later on. Oh, Once yeah. you're established, because that's where your oh, metals that. are. That's awesome. The mountain rises up with the trees. The mountain yeah. rises up with the trees. Do you know that's dwarves awesome. can? Uh, or I don't actually don't know if dwarves can climb trees. I was when I was in venture mode, my human could climb a tree, and that was kind of interesting. And, and then I couldn't get back mode? down, so I jumped. <laughs> yeah. Tell, uh, so I was been tinkering a bit with adventure mode. We're looking into maybe doing something there. Do you want to? I'm gonna do stockpiles a bit. Can you talk about adventure mode? Well, so it seems you've gotten a little further even than last time we talked. No, actually, I have not uh, gotten uh, further, but I was up, I, I, there was this, you know, I was just looking at the options, and one of them was, push this button to grab a tree to climb up. I think it's G. <laughs> uh, the keystrokes are all different uh, in adventure mode, like completely different. Um, so I was like, well, I'm going to try climbing a tree. So I climbed to the, to the very top of the tree. And this is kind of, un like, sort of not intuitive, because you can grab branches, like, above you, you know, what, you pick which gra branch you want to grab and mm -hmm. where. Um, but I, I got all the way up to the top and then I couldn't get down. I was like moving around, like trying to go down a Z level, trying to figure out how to get down. I could not get down. And, uh, so there's an option to jump and I was just like, and there was a river. <laughs> so I just jumped towards the river. And then as you're flying through the air, it gives you the option to like try to grab onto branches and stuff. Really? So I'm grabbing every branch that I can, that I can find to slow myself down from flying, you know, and hopefully falling to my death, and I fell in the river. Um, so, but you seem to be... Uh, see, when I tried adventure mode, I didn't... So, uh, also briefly, I just dug out a quick depot area, and then uh, a narrowing up of to the some up downstairs for, for safety, and then the up downstairs. You so did, but you, the top ones are up down, right? You didn't just uh, dig down, because we might want to go up to the further in the I mountain. I did. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, again, new tile set, so we're a little hazy on some things, but it's just so freaking adorable. Um... We're using it. Okay, pasture also. Oh, I thought that was what was right there in front of the door. 
I can just a Woodstock file. So again, okay. I've learned a lot about this opening gambit from y'all on Reddit and in our YouTube comments. Oh, let's pasture and set. Get my yaks in there. Oh, they gave us a they gave us a cow and a bull. Interesting. Nice, but it's a water buffalo and a yak. Oh well, they can still <laughs> have fun together, Joe. Well, that's. <laughs> Um, it doesn't always have to be about procreation. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Apparently, no one's mining, which is I probably have my miners gathering food. Oh, I was assuming that you were paused for a second there, I don't, or because you were designating, designating stuff. I had been. That's what I, I do. Yes, that is true. Uh, do I need to get those ramps out of the way? Or are they just gathering down the? Look at them bringing the axe over. <laughs> <laughs> This is interesting. What's interesting about it? The fact that they're uh, not I've bringing any... Never had uh, to, so these are up ramps. Right. And usually they dig right... Did I not? Oh, don't chop down trees. All of those trees were chopped down. You can obviously remove the ramps, but I've never But then you won't be able that. to get up to where you want to mine. No, this is all one level. Oh, those I ramps got you. go up. Here yeah. he comes. He's standing on the ramp and moving into the wall. Those ramps lead up to this level. I got you. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, for the depot, I think we want to get those ramps out of the way, but that's fine. For now. Um, <clears throat> in a dream sequence I had that did not at all relate to something we recorded, we had some fun with a screw pump and flooding an area. Do we want to do that now again? We don't have quite the same... If we had a so we we joking a little all joking aside we uh we actually already recorded a different embark and uh Joe uh has not recorded as many videos as I have on his end from with the dwarf fortress stuff so there was a little bit of a hiccup uh with the resolution and how it was it cropped out about half the screen yeah so y'all we weren't able to see all the stuff on the right and some stuff he was talking about so we just decided that it needed to be yeah. scrapped because we are professionals Joe. And when we screw things up, as people inevitably do, we make the right. I'll really drop the ball on that one. It was, it was, yeah. Well, it's it's <laughs> tricky. It's 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 something I've been through several times before, and you just you know you deal with it. So but, uh, that's we did why... build a screw pump and uh, had a lot of fun commentary about the screw pump uh, <laughs> moving the the water around. Uh, but I don't know that we need to do that. You you did it because you wanted to uh, create arable farmland. Yes, that was why we started it. And then is arable the right word for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I was for some reason I was like, wait a minute, what? Arable? It's not a real thing. Yeah, it sounds it like a Disney princess. <laughs> princess Arable. <laughs> she, she turns into it. A... Then Jesus spoke unto them in Arable. Oh, we and said a certain uh, man had two sons. Well, that we're gonna keep. By the way. Oh, our carpenter. Uh oh, carpenters are a guy. The other embark my carpenter <laughs> was Jesus Hayus. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> And we had some other people. We had Hebbingways, our fisher. Wow. Typing not so much today. Not Game's so much. Games going in the background, too. Who was our jeweler? Oh, our stonecrafter's Michelangelo. We should, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if we're going to have Jesus in there, maybe we should... Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe we should put in some other religious figures like Buddha and the prophet formerly known as Muhammad and stuff like that. Well, nothing jumping out at me for them. I like the okay. miner was Daniel Plainview. Is he? Is that his name in the book as well? What book? Oil. I never read the book. Okay. You're, you're a very literary guy. I thought maybe you had, would have read the book. I'm surprisingly bad at uh, when they make movies I love, <clears throat> even knowing that there were books from them. Okay. Um, that's from. I'm glad the, they changed the title though, because oil cap like exclamation point is not the greatest title for a book. That sound a bit like a. Uh, high school video <laughs> about or like like the uh, the uh, um like a, a musical production you know like Oliver <laughs> oil <laughs> da, 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 da. I drink your milkshake no. you drink, drink my milkshake all right we're gonna do the cross again I didn't mean to do this last time but <laughs> eh, no, it's fine that's enough for the joke uh all right so I do need to find farmland it looks like there's some over here. Are you gonna farm under the uh, under the earth or on top this time? What? Are you gonna farm underground or on top of the earth? You mean uh, subterranean or outside? Yes. Always go subterranean because you start with plump helmets and they can't grow outside. Okay. Um. 
but you can definitely expand into outside. However, security-wise, I definitely like to do... Uh, build my depot. Try and keep things indoors for the beginning part of the of the game. I got you. Uh, do you ever have like like a forgotten beast or something just show up like right as you're starting, and you just there's nothing you can do about it because you've just gotten started and just wrecks everything? You know, you say that, and I say I'm about to say no, but look at that. Talk about the tributary. I know um, it's beautiful, but. Probably that could can happen. I don't see why it couldn't. I don't think there's things like that hard coded into the game to not happen. Okay. So you probably jinxed us all and killed us all. Ha ha! <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. I have seen a Let's Player two where Goblin showed up pretty early. Just me I throw out my coffee. Um, but it uh, you know, in the invasions in the beginning, if you don't have a lot of stuff, it's like a Goblin shows up. <laughs> Whereas later on, you can get like, hi guys, hey, yeah. <laughs> Mind if I stab you? <laughs> like they'll bring like you never even saw. That was the weird thing about paint sandaled. Um, and again, something we were, I'm hoping they fixed a bit with uh, the new pathing system. You had very few troubles in paint sandaled. Um, I did. It was a, it was a <laughs> I was <laughs> the the Armok smiled uh, kindly on me in that fort. We made our own troubles, but yes, uh, I was expecting a few more headbutting and stuff. Also, a lot of people were talking about elves and your relationship to them and how benign that's been, and I definitely agree with that. Um, since I'm going to be driving for a bit, I guess I should, you know... You're going to just chop down trees this. so they, like, pick... Look at what I'm doing to your trees! You if suck! You joke, that's literally what happens. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, I know that's... I've, I've read uh, the stuff. Oh, I thought you were... Look, oh, I see. Sorry. No. Nope. Yes, considering your relationship with trees and how, like, I'll... <laughs> Where did we do yours? Oh, the uh, during Extra Life. We had one of your earlier solo forts, and you had literally designated, like... The whole map. Pretty much. You were I like, think well, I just went chop from down these trees. Like, everything that's on the screen right now was chopped down. It was unbelievable. And so, with that... <laughs> I thought you... I, I was... I, my... I, I have I'm no sure sense of proportion too. with this game. Anybody who's watched any of these Let's Plays know I have zero sense of, like... What? How much wood is needed for a thing, or That's you know, metals? I, I'm sure. Again, I'm you know, a few forts in past you. I'm sure my earlier forts had silly, th just craziness like that as well. But it was really funny to see. And then, but you pile that on top of you usually had that attitude going a lot with paint sandals as well. And I would tell you, oh, cut down some trees. The elves <laughs> didn't care. It was just bizarre. Maybe um, it wasn't close to any elves. I mean, how do they? Do they have like an elf sense? I think they're like hundred yeah. hundreds well, of miles no, away. The, caravan, like... the caravans come, and I think they report back to the. I guess that you know what? Actually, that's an interesting. I don't quite know how that mechanic works. Um. I also, some of the the something was off with the trading. <laughs> some of those sports we did because remember that one caravan like just bugged out. Well, I thought I, I kind of thought that that was just like they saw something that spooked them or whatever because that was we that was also a technical difficulty thing where the save didn't happen. Oh yeah, that's right. And, then and they so came, we had then seen them come. come into the fort, and that I, I was really was fascinated by the fact that they came into the fort the first time. The save broke. They came along at the exact same time, but like something had fallen on the ground that yeah. they just freaked. out. They're like, "Whoa, no, no, no! We are leaving." Because yeah, there had been a goblin battle nearby. That's right. Yes. Um. Yeah. So it was not a hard coded thing. Uh, but remember also your, uh, for a while, in, I think it was in Paint Sandal, your dude, the liaison, wouldn't show up. Yes, it took a while. He did finally show up, though. It was weird. Yeah, he just, like, one sure. day, he was like, oh, well, here I am. The world is as it ever was. What do you guys want? Yeah. What, it, and he's yeah, like, we've been, like, here for ten episodes. What, where have you been? <laughs> um, well, you never unpaused the game, so. <laughs> that, <laughs> yes, that's definitely a possibility. <laughs> um, time passed a little, I guess, a little slower. Because of all the pausing and teaching and stuff. Um, it still just felt like in my gut that there should have been more. I'm really hoping this guy finds... He's got to find sand or dirt. I mean, there's dirt right over there that he's I digging know. toward, right? That's what there's right next to, to the water? Yeah. Well, or something decent. Where, where is the, uh, the dividing line between the two biomes? Go it's up me. and see where it is at. Yeah, Looks so he's like getting close to it. See there? You can see... Oh, wait, no, there's trees above that area. Well, maybe I lied. No, I think it's... 
I don't I don't know if it's a straight line, like it waggles. Well, no, it's square by square, so it's a... I guess it's like this square here. Yeah. Right. This one, and this... Hmm, I'm making things up as I... Whoa! You see that? Something went across the map. Yeah, I, I don't know of, what it was. Like a flying thing, or... I definitely want to do some caging. However, farm first. This is pretty important. Because the farm allows you to get the still, and then then you can sort of get your feet under you. You're going to have to also, walk really far to get your liquor through this hallway. Yeah, or you might have to. There, there it we is. go. There's some... Sa what, what is that? It, like, popped open into some big... Not a cap oh, I guess that's a hole in the ground? What? Like this area you can yeah. see? Uh, yeah. These are roots, usually. Um, orange tree roots. Oh, so okay. It's sort of, sort of visible through, kind of. They're like, well, we can sort of see through the roots. If you dig like, out the roots, does the tree fall down? No. Oh man. To the, to the best of my knowledge, no. That would have been. That would be cool. That would be an interesting dynamic. Well, I mean, uh, it would be realistic. Although, but the tree um, may already been cut down. I don't know. And the roots might just be left over, but. Well, the tree would die Most first and then collapse. Well, it's also a massive tree root system that we're like, well, no, you're right. It is, I guess that is the, well, you know what? We'll see. Like, like the guy's sleeping on the floor. You sleep on that floor, sir. Yeah, there's some more roots. That is so, I've never seen roots underground before. That, I mean, I've seen roots underground, but in this game, <laughs> uh, I've never seen that happen. And that's really neat. Yeah. What did they leave behind? What would roots Is that leave? soil? That's clay. Real gar. Is clay going to work for growing stuff, or do we need to flood it? I always that forget, so we're going to try it. It does. Yay! But some sorts of clay don't. Uh, it's weird. All right, now we got to make a guy a farmer slash a brewer, and that is you. For some reason, you're also our woodcutter, but that's not nearly as important. At the moment. We got At a bunch of wood. Moment. Furnace operator we're not going to get to until we get new migrants. Okay. You, sir... Start with the plum helmets. La 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 la. See, my one of the first things I always want to do is build workshops, and what I'm learning here personally is that that is not at all a priority at the very beginning. Uh, no. Uh, you do want that farm set up? Oh, drink my first one. You want your farm set up? Uh, DB DV hack. I always name say that wrong. Is that right? I'm pretty sure it's DF hack. Right, for dwarf the fortress. From. Yes, that's. I mean, that makes sense. If you're gonna go that way, <laughs> the shift enter for do all seasons is not here, which is something strange. Strangely, of all the things that are not here, I'm, I'm missing that. Uh, usually, also the workshops you're you're digging out of stone. Not always, you know, it depends on what you're doing, but it takes longer. And if you can get to dirt, it does not take as long. This is going to be a bit of a dig for our stockpile. I'll just designate everything. We're going to put a little manager up here. Um, are you going to put a uh, stockpile for seeds and stuff? Because we, I know last time uh, we talked about the st stockpiles feeding other stockpiles. That's true. Uh, and uh, that is a cool little dynamic people I, might yeah, want to know about. That. I had completely forgotten. Uh, we'll let them do this. We can come up. Oh, I don't have my farm hot heat. Because it's just one Can down. you set it not to pause when you're... Uh, like designating things? Uh I doubt it highly. I think it has to sort of Okay. Um I've never seen anyone do that. Raven want to do that really. You freak. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I just figured like they could be digging while I'm saying, why don't we dig something else? True. It's a thing that could happen. Maybe it is, because there are some planning tools that are in here, and maybe that's what that means. All right, we're going to do the stockpiles, though. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to point them out. Food. Again, so I what, can, I can I talk about what you're doing while you're doing it? Sure. So what Joe is doing is he's making two separate seed stockpiles. One of them will take just seeds that will not be put in bins, uh, and it will feed – the second stockpile will only take seeds from the first stockpile that will go into bins uh, because somehow – when you put the seeds in bins in just the one stockpile, it's uh, does not like like they'll they'll grab the bin to go get a seed like the one seed that they found, and then there won't be a bin there for somebody who wants to make to plant stuff. So you have them bring the seeds to the 
single seed stockpile and then they then that's a separate operation to put the seeds into the bin and so for some reason that works better than just having the bins do their thing as far as well, we know no it does because to get the seed like someone goes down to the meeting area and eats a plum helmet and leaves behind the seed they would then take the entire bag of seeds with them to go pick up that seed and that you know and then you have then that entire bag of seeds is unusable because they've taken it away correct and so your farmer's like well i have no seeds there's nothing in the stockpile whereas this way they only bring single seeds in because the single seed stockpile is the only thing accepting from the entire fort and the bag stockpile accepts from just from the single seeds they pretty much drop off the single seeds and then move them right into the bags but they never take the bags to pick up single seeds. And then the we farmer didn't can walk take through from the anything. specific keystrokes, uh, but you'll see all those options in the stockpile menu oh, yeah. when you go into custom well, we can do that. stockpile. Whoops, what is this? Well, you can request a uh, question mark at any time for help, Joe. Oh, yeah, the help menu is amazing. <laughs> so what you want is, this is the single seed stockpile. Uh, and we'll take from anywhere. Giving, take from anywhere, and then G, give to this stockpile. Uh, and this will take from links only. Hit A to make it take from links only. However, I have this... So again, digging out the tree roots left behind real gar. And I don't know what that is, but it's time to set up well, my dump. Well, I have the uh, Dwarf Fortress wiki open, so I will look it up while you're doing your thing. So this is the dump. The All cosmic right. dump. Set a zone. And make it D. Garbage dump. This is You can store as much stuff in here as you want. It's very strange. It is not to be confused with actual garbage. I don't know why they call it the garbage dump. But as an example of how that goes down, D to designate B, which I don't even know what B is, actually. D, what is B? Set building item properties, B. And then D, dump items. So I'm going to dump this real gar, and that means they'll pick it up and they'll move it. Nice and purple now. Are you ready for some spot. fun facts about real gar, Joe? I am. Realgar is a brilliant redstone found in small quantities within igneous extrusive layers. It is one of the few stones which will boil in magma. Its melting point is so low that it is not fire safe. So do okay. not build a forge out of Realgar. Okay, I'll be sure not to do that. In real life, Realgar is very soft, being an arsenic sulfide. Uh, it is an extremely toxic substance. It was used in painting for its Unique orange color, but fell out of use because of the health hazards. <laughs> huh. Poses no health hazards to dwarf ho dwarfs, however, who will readily and safely use it as a normal stone, including for the protection of food containers and mechanisms. Interesting. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, I've got the still going. Again. We're in... Okay, so we're in a hot environment. Hot environment. We don't need hot, hot, hot. Um... Which is good, but so we're, we're not going to freeze over the brook, so they will have water all the time, but it's just good to get in the habit of getting that still up, because you never know what's going to happen to your water supply, and also they're much happier with booze to drink. Yes. Whoops. I found out recently that uh, animals don't need to drink. Yeah, I think I knew that, maybe. Like they we just uh, need. We designated, uh, or maybe I was de like I designated like a drinking area or something for my if our animals at one point, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. I realized later on it did nothing. Mm -hmm. There was no need for it. How does it work? They just bring them food in a bucket or something? Or they just bring them food in their hand? I thought they grazed, and they didn't. Oh, need I'm water. animals in cages. You're right. You're right. They just graze up top. Yeah. Like something we did last time, uh, which I really liked, was we made a picking area. We had like. Trees and, and fruits stuff. and stuff? Yeah, let's try that again. We were, like, rocking it with the... We were getting it. We were learning some stuff about Dwarf Fortress, Joe. Yes, we were. Oh, there's those uh, weird cotton things up oh, at the yeah, top. Oh, yeah, there's Dr. Susian oh, land. Oh, a bunch on the right there, too. Yeah. Are those still the cotton weed, whatever it was? Dense hair grass. Dense mountain avens. Dense cotton grass. Here we are. Yep. Is this a rhylolite boulder? The last oh, time okay. we, uh, in, our, in our first failed uh, recording attempt, the, uh, we looked at cotton grass and found out it's good for basically nothing. Look at this. Look at all this lungfish remains. Rat remains. I think the cats are catching lungfish. Oh, yeah? What's a lungfish? Look that up. That's definitely a look I up will thing. look it up. Well, look at our guy fishing in the delta. I'm a fishing in the delta. Fishing, fishing, fishing. Oh, no way! 
But a lungfish is a small fish which can walk on the land and breathe air. It burrows in mud when things get dry. I thought I saw a fish flopping around. I was like, what was that? And I just sort of, you know, I was like, I I, I must have seen something wrong. They're easy targets for cats and other vermin-eating domestic animals. They are eating the lungfish. This game is crazy. Lungfish is also known for its playful manner and... Are you ready for this, Joe? It's playful manner? No, no, that's not, that's not the best part. The rest right, of the sentence on. is the best part. Known for its playful, nat- um, playful nature and ability to fly. Okay, that's just... Bedazzled dwarves often see these creatures going up and down in the fresh air, fresh air next to rivers. <laughs> After conquering water and earth, it is only natural that these terrifying <laughs> beasts conquer air. <laughs> <laughs> it has been assumed that soon enough they will conquer Magna, and this day is said to be the day all dwarves will accept Lungfish as their new tiny amphibious overlords. <laughs> Great classic Dwarf Fortress wiki humor there. <laughs> oh, I do love the wiki <laughs> quite a bit. Um. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm an idiot. Stop that! No, I'm not gonna build a corn. That's not build a corn. Ah! That's the first priority. We need to get them papers. <laughs> Remove building. Joe is like not doing the cool thing and building temples about and say, taverns to start out with. By the way, I was going to address because this like fuddy duddy sense that the tavern is going to sap all our food supply or something. I don't if know. If you why watched our brief foray into the new stuff, we tinkered with that, got right to the taverns, inns, and temples, uh, and had like eight thousand people to, like swapping into. It was like they ate all our food. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It didn't work it was, out. Like, the worst case of bad house guests ever. I still don't and, know why you wouldn't build a temple. I don't see how that there's a downside to that. Um. Well, you know, I'm digging out the workshop area now. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. That many things, you know, I'm not that slacky right now. They I'm not need... saying you're being slacky. I'm just saying it's like you have no interest in the new stuff, and I'm interested in all the new stuff, none of the old stuff. I'm highly interested in the new stuff. I, okay. I I'm a little gun shy because of the uh, the effect of what happened. A tavern, or uh, sorry, a temple can be. Um. Definitely much sooner on the list. And actually, um, we didn't address this. I kept telling you, you know, make sure you push me into the new stuff because I have this sort of set pattern I do yes. for the opening gambit, and that's going to change. I have no idea. I'm actually going to look up temples because I'm not exactly sure how the, uh, um, the like, how they function specifically. Yeah, that's also, that's part of it. You know what also part of it is, too, to be honest? I want to make my first temple badass. Okay. Like, I want to think about how I want to design it and, like, where it's going to be and, you know, what it, you know, what it's next to. Like, for instance, I texted uh, yesterday afternoon after we, our the first uh, no-go fort that I had come up with an idea for, I'm going to be talking and doing this, so this might be a little stammery. Uh, you know, I had an idea for what I wanted to do for the first inn, if you remember that. I might have gotten lost in the chatter of our chat, but and I think I can do it with this one too, so I'm not sure if I'm going to give that away, to be honest. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, read to you about temples a little bit and uh, make the case for making one fairly early, because the yeah. wiki does as well. And it says, being able to commune with their deity or meditate gives serious and raptured tre- stress discrete decrease to the dwarves. That wasn't English at all. That, that was just a lot of strange <laughs> sounds coming out of your mouth. Stress decrease to the dwarves. Enraptured is, I don't know why it says enraptured there. Enraptured is also in italics. <laughs> Not having a designated place to pray, on the other hand, makes them sad or distracted. Thus, making a temple early on might be a good investment for your fortress. Okay, Even more so if you're going through difficult times. That is good to know. This is difficult times. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's um, ever good times for dwarves. But we're not being attacked by goblins or anything right now, so I guess we're okay. Uh, okay, I have auto save on. This is happening now. So, I guess what they're saying is that's kind of like a, you know, like the manager's office. You kind of might grow that later, but you want to have a little rinky-dink temple set up just so they can stop in and give a nod. That's, that is good information. Okay. I was going to walk through these early workshop stockpiles. I was doing things with those that you had found interesting. Let the autosave's going. Um, but basically, you know, when it first started, it was like, oh, stockpiles, this is where I get things. Why not have a giant stone stockpile and a giant whatever stockpile? Uh, it turns out, if a stockpile has an empty slot on it, a dwarf's going to try and fill it up. It sends a little, like, beep, beep, we need stuff here. So if you have a giant stone stockpile, <laughs> they'll just be constantly bringing stone to it. Every dwarf will, yes, just constantly bring stone to it. So it's nice to set up little 
three by three stockpiles next to your. So this is my no, it's not. Where is my? <laughs> speaking of not speaking English, Joe, this is my what? No, I don't. Who is it? We are here playing Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> That's where I'll find you now. Thank you. <laughs> How are, are you? you? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my mason. So you do a little three by three, and within stones also, you don't need ores. They're not going to carve stuff out of ore or economic. We went through this, by the way, also last time. So yes, uh, these are they all things that, that though, have. Joe. I know uh, <laughs> it's getting strange. <laughs> this is a little uh, Groundhog Day ish. Uh, chalk and marble is flux stones that you need that to make steel. Between is coal, you can use to make uh, coal again, so you don't need to use wood to make coal. These are all, I think, uh, clay and porcelain. So these all have other uses at the economic ones. Clay, I don't even know if I have. Uh, so these are the stones that you like carve things out of. This is what you make, you know, doors and chairs. So there's no reason to have these other stones in the stockpile next to your mason. So you can go in and make a tiny little stone stockpile and make it actually have what you want in it. And Crafts Dwarf, you know, if I had thought this through, I would have done Carpenter, then Crafts Dwarf, then Mason the Mechanic. Because Mason the Mechanic always use stone. Crafts Dwarf uses various things. Hmm. That's something I've just made up. And I made my stockpile a meeting area. I did not mean to do that. What? <laughs> I carved this out to make this my, my first stockpile, and then I made it a meeting area. So we'll... What were you going to stockpile in there? The stuff that came with the thing. Oh, oh, the random uh, stuff that you brought with you. Yeah, the stuff that came with the bark. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's centered. That looks weird. This will be the meeting area, and we'll get rid of that other zone. And they are filling up that little rock stockpile, so we can get them working on a chair... And a table for my manager. Also, we need... Is rock blocks? Was that in here? Those are the mason. Yep. No, yeah, it's the mason. They carve rock blocks. Okay, well, you can make some rock pots. Always need rock pots. And you... We always need mechanisms. Although, those are kind of space-heavy. And the carpenter, we always need beds. Even though it's going to take you, like, three more Let's Plays before you actually carve out bedrooms. Yes. I'm fine with that initial group sleeping on the floor. I like for them to... They, they got to prove their mettle. Like, they listen, do. guys, you're you're the pioneers here. You, you got to know what you're getting into. Uh-huh. And you know what? They uh, It pays off in the end, because they're always the first to come off of laborers. I make their bedrooms really nice. They... You know, I like how you think of them as, like, like I'm going to reward these guys. They're going to go Absolutely. through crap right now, but... When when we finally get this dwarf going, they're... nothing but disdain for the new, new waves of migrants when they come in. You get Charlie work. You get Charlie work. You get a feather bed. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have one good thing. Certainly, the silver lining here is we had our first artifact kick off, and he needed silk, and we couldn't get to it because of that cavern that supposedly exists on always in level ten. Yeah, Every couldn't time. find silk. He went crazy. Not he didn't do too much. He was sort of a passive guy, but still not the greatest of. Do we want to go ahead and look for a cavern? Uh, I actually, you know what? Can you look up? Maybe look up Z levels, determining Z levels, and maybe that's got some great info that we're not aware of for the whole cavern thing. Like maybe there's a different way to find level ten, and we're just completely off. Okay, this might it might be again. It, because we're debating, is X le is is Z level zero? The Z at level the indicator site? is at the very bottom of the screen. So you're at Z level eight right now. So there's a cavern two below me. That's just not. That doesn't seem like it can be a thing. No, yeah. it does not. The default settings produce levels with around 50 Z levels of land, with an additional 15 Z levels of empty sky space above the highest point. Numerous uh, factors available in world, world generation can affect the available Z levels and alter the depth of the map to a minimum of six and a maximum of well in excess of 600. Jeez. Wow. A minimum of six would be, that'd be that'd rough. Be interesting. Reducing no, the early Z levels, especially cavern levels can reduce compressor demand, processor demand and boost frame rate. Yeah. Cause everything has to pass through the caverns and that gets very, uh, I'm going to look up caverns again because this seems to think that like, 
they could be all over the place. I just want you to see this. Oh, sorry. Yes. What I'm, what I'm highlighting. Penguin man. Right <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so I'm setting my we first major stockpile. Penguin man with us. What is that? Uh, how is that part of the stockpile? This is what's enabled in the stockpile. Like everything's this. I can say nope, no penguin men here. <laughs> but four penguin men. We don't serve we your them. guide at our fort. <laughs> So many Star Wars references. Uh, so this is the first initial stockpile. Um, we have corpse and refuse up top. And again, that's garbage and not the dump. A little confusing. Stone, we do not want here for the reasons we spoke of. Bars and blocks are not making it. By the time we make them, uh, i.e. charcoal and metal bars, will have their own stockpiles. Gems, pretty much the same way. Wood, have a lot of it. It's really easy to carry, so we could put it here, but it would just fill up a lot of space. So we set up a big stockpile up top. But everything else, we're going to put into this stockpile. And this is where they're going to move, finally, everything from the embark wagon into our fort. It does say, here it says, usually reside 10 to 11 Z levels below the surface. Uh, what's, what's, I guess the surface is probably the embark, yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so this is, this is our embark, and we can't see a number down here. <laughs> and can't see a number. Three, four, five. Ah, well, that's part of it. Uh, I don't know what that's counting exactly. Six, seven, eight, nine. This would be ten levels below. Right? Ten or eleven. Surface meeting embark site. So the, the numbers are a little off, but still... It, it may also says, be like seems... the very top of the cavern. Like maybe you're less likely to find it at 10 or 11 because you'd have to. Oh, like it's just a like smaller... a one or two square of yeah. like a little blip as it pops up. That's a good point, too. Well thought, Albert. Although we did just not find one in the other fort that we were like just desperate for a, a cavern. Yes. That has happened a lot as well. Let me get another stone stockpile. Boop, 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 boop. Not sure what Al's singing. It's very festive. Uh, it's from the uh, Jack White album, Lazaretto. Ah, uh, the Jack White album, Lazaretto. They played that song in the uh, promo for AMC shows, and I was like, "Oh, I love that song." <laughs> I don't know if any. I don't know anybody else has listened to that album, but I have it. Hold on, what is that? Al what is that song called? Lazaretto? No, no, the, that's the album. Dag yes. nabbit, I want to open the whole album. Go to album. Here we go. I'm going to find it. You guys are going to be enlightened. <laughs> We've also fired up our still. Uh, slow phone. Uh, just double checking something here. So if you designate a bit of the zone, it'll tell you what... This is very strange looking. The parentheses are gigantic, but so there's zero water sources here in the zone. Zero fishing. Gather pick fruit. I could do not. What? Okay, that's a little off, I guess. Could make it a dirt jump, obviously, make it a pen. There's no sand. There is clay, though, so that's good to know. It's called it's, Highball Stepper, is the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's the instrumental ver uh, song on uh, the only one that's fully instrumental on there, and it's awesome! <laughs> That album is like a, one of those sort of like a really eclectic mix of different types of music. And but did you zoom out a little bit? It looks like you zoomed out. No, I was moving on the surface for a while. Mouse wheel. No, I mean mouse wheel. Like it just looks like the squares are smaller all of a sudden. Yeah, no, I just I don't think we've been on the surface in a while. Okay. So I think you got a little tunnel vision. That's possible. Also, I, I was looking at my phone trying to find Lazar or uh, not Lazaretto. Highball stepper. Oop, that's zooming out a bit. Okay. That's clearly different. Oop, that's it. Did you get your manager's workshop built, Joe? Uh, chair and table are queued up. Because uh, I think I was... it is getting close to time to wrap this one up. All right, let me get some more plants picked, and then we will do that with that. That sounds good. Build. Cha Whoops. No. What? Yes. Needs thrown. This happened last time, too. Wow, that's I'm nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. Raisin's workshop. The chair got built. The chair got built. Where's the chair? Where's the chair? Where's the chair? Did they not they get it placed in the stockpile? Is that what the yeah, deal is? After they build it, sometimes they lose track of it for a second. A little silly. Now, okay, so that sounds a bit like Jimi Hendrix, which you've got in my head now. Well, that's, no, that's a very different song. It is. I so want to play it for notice. you, but you won't be able to hear it over the microphone anyway, and 
Just go look it up on YouTube or whatever, you guys. Highball Stepper. Jack White. It's a good song. YouTube or whatever. If we you're into don't. that kind of song, I guess. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I like the things that I like, Joe. I, I'm, I don't, I don't want know to apologize. Jack White is not like a unheard of person, is he? I just never know. I never, like, I, That's true. I don't get into the music scene. I'll just, like, I, this is the weirdest thing. Like, I just heard somebody talking about this album on NPR, like, mm-hmm. two years ago. And they're like, Jack White's releasing this new album. And, and I was like, huh, I'm going to go look that up. And I looked it up. And I just, I I don't listen to a ton of music, but I this is one of those I just, like, go back to. I was like, I'm going to play Three Women now. <laughs> I got three women, red, blonde, and brunette. I got three women, a red, blonde, and brunette. One, one thing that the listeners are missing out on is that whole Smothers Brothers. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. I got very excited about the Smothers Brothers. The Smothers and, Brothers and, and are it, great. You named somebody John Henry, and I started singing their song about John Henry. Also, something sure. you should go look up on. Actually, you can't really find much of their stuff on YouTube. Disappointing, but. I didn't say it didn't make sense, the segue, but then you, you started trying to explain one of their skits while laughing hysterically the whole time. And <laughs> it was and just John Henry much... spit on it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have mentioned that, because now you're going to be doing that for... He starts... <laughs> I was thinking about it, too, after the fact, and I explained it horribly, because he starts off terrible. spitting I... on his hands, and then he goes over and spits on the steam shovel. Well, also, you weren't, you weren't like... Just making complete sentences, or you kept bouncing back and forth between wanting to imitate the thing and wanting to explain it, so you really got very little I was very across. excitable. Uh, yes. Uh, it, was, it was It was. a moment. Um, well, the office is designated. They're, they're busy, though. They're going to get the chair in there eventually. Uh, are we at time? We are at time. Okay. Thanks for watching, Thanks. everybody. We're going to continue with this fort and Joe being in the driver's seat for future Let's Plays. And we will get to temples very quickly, because that's good to know that you want one of those popped in there quickly. Yes. And I've got a great idea. I, again, believe I can do my idea in this landscape for a great tavern slash inn. Those are combined, right? And yes. What's the third thing? Oh, the library. Wow, that's right. Yeah, we okay. got to make books yeah. for that, though. And have we scribes and do all that. kinds of that stuff. That, I think, can probably wait a little bit. And if Al says it can wait a little bit, it can wait a little bit. I mean, I want to do it. Don't get me wrong. But it's like instruments. I don't know if it's essential to the health of our fort. Yes. But Al uh, will keep pushing me to the, the new stuff. Yes, I definitely like, want to see that stuff happen. Yeah. Uh, so like and subscribe and listen to Jack White. And we will see you guys next week with more Joe Teaches Al, Door Fortress. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>